40 years ago, uh, Jack Hoyer launched the, the first Monaco in uh, 1969. It was a very daring piece, uh, the first automatic chronograph uh, in a square shape, and actually it became an icon of watchmaking. For us, it's a great playground to innovate. So today, uh, we are launching the Monaco 24, in tribute to the very famous uh, 24 hours Le Mans race. It's still a very charismatic piece, um, very rare, limited quantities. And the innovation that we are bringing is amazing resistance to vibrations and to uh, shocks. So basically the Monaco 24 is resisting to 24,000 Gs. Uh, usually the highest standard in watchmaking is 5,000 Gs resistant to shocks it's equal to a free fall of 20 meters. From Melbourne now, uh, the reigning world champion, Mr. Lewis Hamilton. Hello, Lewis, can you hear me? Or can you tell me a little bit more about that Monaco you're wearing? I wear it as a tribute to the Steve McQueen um, and uh, it's, it's really the reissue of the original Monaco and um, I think it's extremely elegant. I love the style. Oh, thank you for the invite. Did you bring your Formula One? You bet. I'm going to put on a good show today. This is a race, Lewis. Hey, Steve. Good luck. The Cara was born in 1964, it was launched by Jack Hoyer and uh, today we are uh, relaunching it with the Grand Carrera. Basically what we are bringing on the Carrera is a brand new rotating flange which allows to read the tenth of a second of the chronograph on a scale which is ten times bigger than a second. So it's actually quite a naive idea, uh, but it's uh, bringing a uh, an immediate reading of the tenth of a second of the chronograph. So definitely the, hi the highlight of this collection is the Grand Carrera Calibre 36 Caliper. Uh, this chronograph is housing a movement which is beating at uh, 36,000 beats per hour, displaying the tenth of a second uh, elapsed time. It's a titanium case with a black PVD coating. <laughs> 